Now, right off the bat, I want to apologize for one thing. I did not record a intro or an introduction to this particular video, but I did manage to make a outro or at least let's call them bonus footages because they are very, very funny, or at least I'm hoping you guys are going to find them funny. Uh, these are at the end of the video and I hope you guys uh, stay all the way to the end of the video or at least watch those bonus footages because they are just hilarious to look at. Um, as you guys can see, this is a totally different pool hall that I normally play out of. This one is called Plan B and this one is situated near the centrum of Amsterdam. The pool hall where I play out of is at the north of Amsterdam and that one is called Bovenedai. This one is called Plan B. As you guys can see, it is fairly, um, the pool tables are fairly close to one another. And on this particular day, or at least uh, as of late, almost every day, all of the pool tables are being rented out to people that are willing to play in this pool hall. And that is just that just amazing for the pool hall uh, community or, or as a sport. And it, it, it is very good because more people enjo are enjoying the sport. But um, that means that in between shots for this particular pool hall, because the tables are situated close to one another, you kind of have to wait. Now that does not mean anything for you guys, the people that are watching this video, because I sped up the footages between shots. So you guys are just going to see a lot of movement from people um, because I have sped them up. I believe it's 100% or 100, 150% so you guys don't have to, um, you know, sit around and just listen or at least uh, watch me uh, watch some other person play their shot and then get to my shot. So the leg I already lost, this is my opponent that is going to make the first opening of the entire match. Now I do want to say that I kind of don't like the way that he's opening these particular balls because this type of opening is always going to leave some kind of clusters, some kind of like um, balls that are not good between uh, the table. The layout is just very difficult to run out. And I think this is probably one of the tactics that this particular, my opponent, this particular person is using. Now I do manage to um, sink the stripe over here. That's basically my balls because he already made a solid. Now, as you guys can see, the balls up here um, have a little bit of an issue. I'm basically trying my, my hardest to get some kind of angle where I can go into them and then open them up. But I managed to do this, giving me a zero shot to any of the pockets. Now I try a caram shot, uh, but that failed miserably. Um, this is giving my opponent basically like four balls. Remember there is a ball over there at the pocket that he missed the six ball. I think he makes that particular ball right now. Yes, he goes for that particular ball right now. Uh, so he only has two more balls to run out. Now, if you guys don't know what type of game we are playing, this is eight ball, uh, basically where you have solids and stripe. My opponent had solids. So all of the lower numbers, one through seven. And the last ball that you need to make is the eight ball to win a particular frame. Now he does that um, right off the bat is, or at least I'm 1-0. Again, second ball break, not really fond of that particular break because you can see over here at the uh, end of the table, or at least near you guys, there are basically clusters. And I tried to do, to, to make a carom, or I don't even know what I was trying to do there. Uh, failed miserably. Uh, this is my opponent making the ball over there, the stripe ball. And I believe, I don't know what he's trying. Oh, he opened that particular ball up. Um, now, you guys might be thinking to yourself, why don't you remember what you uh, did between these frames? Now, this particular match has been played over uh, what is it today today's friday this particular match has been played last wednesday so it's been like a couple of days 
and I'm not really, you know, uh, remembering what I've played at a particular time because the layout is just totally different. And I'm looking at back at what I was doing and I'm just giving comments like this is something that I shouldn't be doing. Obviously, he's trying to open the eight ball right here because that shot was way too hard to, to keep position. As you guys see, the uh, black ball over there, the eight ball is tied up and he managed to open it up right here. So that is definitely a good shot from him. Now, what does he do here? Okay, that's a very good shot, giving him the option to sink that eight ball in the corner. There it goes, 2-0 for my opponent right here. Again, second ball break from the sides, giving him lots of clusters, but he does manage to make a ball, something that I tried my hardest and not make one at the opening of the frame. Now he misses the stripe over there and I'm looking and I'm thinking the solids are a better choice. So I go with that particular ball over there in the corner, uh, sorry, in the middle. Um, I believe that one is the seven that also goes in the middle. Very good. Now here is the one. Uh, now I'm thinking to myself, let me just cross over to the other side because there is that three ball over here and I'm marking the position where I need to be to open that two ball up um, and then opening the eight ball along it. Um, obviously position was good, but I managed to do this. Now I do remember when I was editing this, um, I do want to say that I made a mistake or I made a foul right there with my Q and I'm going to punch in so you guys can see. Look at that 10 ball, look at my Q. My Q actually hit, uh, my stick actually hit that 10 ball. Um, I didn't notice, my opponent didn't notice. So I continued um, like nothing happened because I didn't notice and my opponent didn't say anything. But in the edit, in the video, that was definitely apparent. So I do want to apologize to my opponent right here uh, for making that particular mistake and not noticing it. Um, so I could have said like, hey, nothing is going on and just continued. Uh, but that's not me. Um, I honestly made this mistake by not um, looking better at the, the at where the queue was going uh, but in the end we do want to keep it um, you know keep the game fair to everybody but I just did not notice uh, this particular shot so with that being said again I apologize but you know it happened in in basically in an instant and I just couldn't um, I didn't see it I didn't feel it obviously or if I did I would mention something but this is frame two uh, sorry, this is frame four. Sorry, um, he has uh, solids over here. A very easy run out, so he's kind of like punishing me for opening the balls the way that I did. As you guys can see, the layout was very easy. It was just you know making the balls, and that was that was about it. He didn't have any problems, any issues at all. So at this moment, I'm thinking like, okay, so there is something to this break that he is doing. Now, on this particular shot, um, what does he do? Yeah, he's tried to open that 15. I don't know why, but he tries to go in uh, that particular 15 with the cue ball, even though it shouldn't be there. Maybe position-wise, he just couldn't, um, couldn't miss that particular ball. So he has these stripes now, as you guys see, there is a little bit of an issue that he needs to manage. The eight ball is not freed up, so he, I think he opens them up here. He has to, yeah, I think he does, yep. So he frees that particular eight ball, uh, it's now in the open, so it can be potted at the last ball. He goes over here because there is a, a striped ball, you guys can't see it, but there is one at the center pocket right there. Um, what does he do here? I think it goes between the six. Oh, the six is stopping him from going further. Um, what does he do here? He tries to bank this particular eight ball, but he got short on it. So he left me a very difficult shot. Look at that. I'm like all the way in the kitchen over there. But it's, it's good because I have an easy shot over here in the center pocket. Now I was hoping to either be a little bit further along than I had the six. But 
I missed this easy three ball and he basically does like a very thin with lots of spin hitting uh, that uh, cushion first and this guy <laughs> but he managed to make that eight ball so that means 4-1 for to my opponent oh my god i'm behind and i want to say place your bets right here if i'm going to win this particular game or not it is raised to five so i only have um one shot to go four points in front now uh, i've chosen these stripes here um what do i do i try to bank the nine ball and i try to move my body maybe it's not gonna help no it's not gonna help so i left myself this particular ball in the uh, jaws of the pocket not intentionally obviously i just missed that particular bank now my opponent is um making sure that he got he has all of the all of the 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 solids now he has a little bit of an issue because he has two balls um that only go in the corner ball over here uh sorry on the corner pocket sorry um and i think he pockets my ball here yes so he does not make his ball um and gives me a little bit of a good layout i should say because all of my uh, stripe balls are in the vicinity of each other i do not have to open any clusters or anything like that this is just a little bit like topspin going forward giving me close to perfect position on the eight ball i say perfect because i'm a little bit short and i really need to overstretch now at this moment i was thinking like maybe this second ball break is something that i also need to do and then i instantly regret it because you can see on the sides over here the eight ball is clustered up with other balls so even if I run out or I manage to make all of my balls, I still need to open the eight ball to make it a ball where you can actually pocket something. Now he's a little bit uh, on the rail here, so that's not a very good position. That's why he missed. Um, so he has the stripe. I have the solids. Um, again, not really, f really, you know, fond of the um, the second ball break because obviously you're going to have lots and lots of issues now right here i'm trying to uh, force myself to opening these particular balls um giving me this as a layout but i did manage to free the eight ball and that means a lot because if i can you know run out here and open the six because the six six over there is also tied with lots of spin actually go inside the nine ball that's the ball above um, giving me a table that is very opened up giving me a long six ball that i think i managed to make yes it goes again almost perfect position because i'm a short guy really need to stretch over, out over here gives me four to three again with the second ball break i do manage to make a ball on the break but still not happy with all of these conjunction here because i have to you know um open up balls reposition them uh between something that's you know more favorable for for me to run out and i do try to 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 do that right here because as as my nature at least the way that i play i'm more of an attacking player so i kind of need to to attack right here i try to make like a safety giving him basically almost ball in hand position for that particular ball i think that was the seven ball um and he has the, the the option to run out again he needs to position balls like all over the place very thin cut here on the four he does manage to make it um the position that he did is also very good because this particular cut on the one uh, gives him uh, the option to cross over to these two balls that are here on the rail past the uh, center pocket the only thing that he has to do is just concentrate on making them and that's that's about it um, in terms of you know gameplay uh, he definitely outplayed me here because 
he is going to make this particular eight ball in the corner and that is basically game for him again guys if you think that there is something that you guys liked about the layout um, please let me know I still haven't figured out the layout to do all of these videos I definitely want to put you guys in more into the sport of playing pool because playing pool is just awesome <laughs> Ik heb uh, 10 ballen gepot en uh, toch 5 punten gehaald. Uh, dus dus uh, statistisch gezien was dat een fantastische Deze mooie been film je niet hè, van deze. <laughs> Denk shot? Ik heb de been van Nick We can't win them all. Unfortunately. We did have fun though, so that's good. <laughs> but it's not good. That guy got his ass kicked and the rest of the team got their ass kicked. We all got their asses kicked. Except him, he won. But he only won. won. He only won half. Half a point. Fuck you.